Oh, it's so cold working here after being in Hong Kong. So, <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, well, can't always be on holiday, can we? Anyway, back to work. Okay, we replaced a couple of rotten boards. This particular one we're doing here is this one here, it's got a knot in, but you can also see if we push on it that it's actually quite rotten and it's likely to split. So this one we're going to pull, this one we're actually gonna pull out. So first thing we need to do is find a spot um, where we can actually cut this piece of timber that makes sense. So we want to come back about three or four uh, joists across. And if we just quickly look underneath, we'll go and look at the joists. So just looking from below, there's a whole bunch of joists that run a whole way along underneath this deck. Now what you're wanting to do is make sure that from above we're going to cut our timber so that it uh, meets on one of those joists. As you can see we've had a whole lot of rotten ones here and we've just been fixing them up. So let's go up on top and have a quick look. Now looking at that same thing from above, we can see a joist in here. Let's see if we get a bit closer. Yeah, you'll just see the joist. Now what we're gonna do is cut along this line here. Now you could replace the entire board, like all the way down, um, but in this case, the rest of the board's actually pretty good. So we're just gonna come across three or four joists and we're gonna mark um, with a pencil and we're gonna get a uh, square and uh, just mark that off. And then we're just going to use a multi-tool with a wood cutting blade on the end of it and just to cut straight through the timber. Obviously if you were uh, removing the entire piece of timber then you wouldn't need to cut it out but this is probably the quickest and the easiest and if you want to just take out a small section then uh, this is the easiest way to do it. So let's just give it a cut. Right, once we cut through that, all we need to do now is grab a chisel or some way just to lever the piece of timber out. Now, if you're working on a hardwood deck, you might actually find that um, they have screws like this, which maybe uh, have a slotted head or a square head or a Phillips head drive. If they do, then just simply unscrew the board. This particular board is um, held down with timber, sorry, held down with nails. So we're just going to use a chisel, just going to use a chisel and we're going to lever it up. Let's just get a better angle on this. Okay. We'll just lever it right out. As you can see it's going to come out pretty easily and probably break down this end. Got it lifted up with a chisel. Just lever it right out. And as you can see, the timber broke because it was rotten at the end. So that's a good one to take out. Once the timber's out, then we're gonna be left with nails or uh, screws, whatever the case may be. So we've got nails in here. So we're just gonna use a back of the claw hammer to lever those out and repeat all the way along these timbers. All right, taking them out as simple as taking them out is as simple as that. Right, once that one is uh, once that one's actually out. Then all we're going to do is just measure the length of the timber you need. And then let's just come back to about here. So what we're going to do is measure from this point out to the end of the deck. Now, what, there's another way to do that if you don't have a tape measure with you. 
If you don't have a tape measure with you, all you need to do is put a piece of timber that's about the right length in, and then you can cut the end off when you're finished. Um, but for us, it's just as easy to cut a piece of timber the right size to, uh, just to start with. So we measure that up. In that case, it's uh, 1410, or if you're in other parts of the world, it's actually 55 and a half inches. I'll just go get some timber. Right, this is our replacement bit of timber. 1410, we'll just make a mark. Get our square. I need two sets of hands here. Make a line. And then I'm just going to cut that with a saw. Just, so just a standard saw will do. If you're doing a lot of these, obviously a drop saw um, will work really well. Bear with me two secs, I'll just cut it. Okay, as you see, timber's now been cut to size. Fits in just perfectly. So all we need to do now is just uh, nail it off. You'll notice this deck's a little bit difficult because it's an old one. You're really looking for about a five to six millimeter gap between the boards. This one we've really just got to match with um, what the existing uh, deck actually is. So anyway, let's uh, grab a drill bit and then we'll uh, start to um, hold it down. Now once it comes to securing the timber, a uh, little professional tip. Um, use a drill bit to pre-drill holes into the timber. Um, not so much of a problem on small uh, pine softwoods, but if you start to work with uh, some of the hardwood timbers, maybe in Australia, ironbark or mobu, mobau, depending on where you look, um, you'll find that the wood will split if you just try and nail or screw straight through it. So it's quite important to actually pre-drill. These drills are brilliant because they have a drill bit on the end and they also have a countersink in there as well. Let's see if I can show you. You get some focus, you can probably just see it. Um, the countersink. So, you know, you only need to uh, yeah, use the drill bit once and it'll drill the hole and do a countersink for you. Then when it comes to securing uh, the, the timber down, a um, couple of options. One, the screws as we showed before. Now if you're replacing boards, just go with you know, screws or go with whatever's already in there. Um, if it's nails, excuse me, I'm just looking. If it's nails, then you probably want a nail that's got a twisted end to it. Uh, let's see if we can get a bit closer. You probably get an idea. But it's got a twist on and that, that will go down and as it goes, it will spin as it goes into the deck and that'll really grip and hold and stop your boards from lifting. So all we need to do now is drill some holes. Normally two holes per joist and uh, yeah, that's as easy as that. So let's put some holes in. So I'm simply going to drill. You'll see that's drilled a hole and it's also left a little countersink mark as well. Now you can buy those at pretty much any hardware shop. First nail in. We'll then put a second one just to the side, just to hold it. And we'll nail that in place as well. And then we'll just repeat right down the board. One little extra tip, just make sure that your drill bit is actually um, smaller than your nail that's going in. We are safe in this case, but you want to make sure you get a really good grip on this timber. Final thing is when you come to the end, because we've got a join here, 
We want two into this board and two into that. So you'll end up with four nails here. So you've got to come to the, towards the end, which is where it becomes really important that you actually do, uh, uh, you do um, pre-drill. Because I have the opportunity here, what I might also do is just straighten this board up. So, because this board's a little bit, uh, a little bit bent, so I can bring it a little bit more uh, centered. So we just need to pop a chisel in, and then lever it over. And that's it, job is done, board's replaced. Some of these short board here. Now we'll stain this up and uh, yeah, make it match the rest of the deck. So we've got a few here to do. So once they're stained and after a little bit of uh, wear, you won't even tell the difference. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, if you like what you see, as always, like and subscribe to the channel. If you've got any other ideas for things you'd like to see, just leave that in the comments below and uh, we will get to all the videos in time. This particular video came from a uh, customer request, so I'll try and get them done as, uh, as we go along. So, until next time, see you later. Bye. And we need some power. I'll just go and turn some power on. And then we'll just 